With the A320 family of planes, Airbus has had a lot of success. Since it went into service in 1988, it sold more narrowbody planes than the 737, but it hasn't yet delivered more planes than the 737. There have been a lot of changes and improvements, but the A320neo is the one that stands out the most. Airbus says that the next version could be made all over again from the ground up and could be used as early as the beginning of the 2030s. Changes are being made to narrowbody planes. The two most popular narrowbody planes in use right now are the Airbus A320 and the Boeing 737. The 737 has been used by airlines since 1968 and the A320 has been used since 1988. Both have changed a few times, but neither has ever been rebuilt from scratch. This is good for airline fleets because it saves money on certification, research, and making sure all the equipment is the same. But there comes a time when it makes most sense to start from scratch with the design in order to add new features. This could be the plan for both Airbus and Boeing in the next 10 years. A lot's been said about the 797, which is Boeing's new mid-size aeroplane or NMA. People thought that this plane would be bigger than the 757, but the wide-body design seemed most likely. Also, Boeing has thought about making a future small airplane, or FSA, which would be similar to the 737 MAX, but have a newer design that would allow it to hold more fuel. There's also a chance that the 787-3 type will be brought back when the 787X comes out. Plan development was initially slowed by the pandemic and the grounding of the 737 MAX, but then the industry gradually recovered from the effects of COVID and we're likely to see some plans become more real. Less attention has been paid to the idea that Airbus might make a plane to replace the A320. Even though the A321LR and the A321XLR are now in use, the A320 family still has a lot to offer. The A321XLR shows a lot of potential when it finally gets into the air, but Airbus has already started making plans for a new plane to take its place. During his address at the Dubai Air Show in 2019, Guillaume Fauri, who is the CEO of Airbus, talked about his ideas for a new plane. Flight Global reported that he said, I would think about starting a single aisle program in the second half of the next decade and putting the planes into service in the early 2030s. There are a lot of important changes happening in aviation right now, and it's possible that these changes will first affect the business of single-aisle aircraft. Fauri says that the improvements in both aeroplane technology and production technology will be the main reasons why new aircraft will be built. He thinks that a new aeroplane can't come out until there are more technological advances and more digitalization in the production process. New Aircraft Technology and Engines it seems likely that one of the most important things to work on in the coming decades will be making new fuels and new ways for planes to move. When compared to the A320CO, the A320neo model has already shown that it's much better at using fuel than the A320CO. This will be the goal for the next generation, which will work toward it by using new engine technologies. In the aviation business, research and development are being done on both electric and hydrogen-powered planes. Most likely, hybrid electric or hydrogen power will be looked at first for big commercial aircraft. There's still a lot of work to be done on battery technology before something like this can be used in real life. Airbus is looking into how well hybrid and hydrogen propulsion systems work through its Zero-E aeroplane program. This show looks at three different ideas for hydrogen-powered planes that are new and interesting. Airbus thinks that the first of these planes will go into service in 2035, and the company plans to choose the type of plane that will be made in 2024 and 2025. It's possible that this zero emissions project will be able to work with any new engine options for an A320 replacement, but it's very unlikely that we'll see a replacement for the A320 that runs entirely on hydrogen before 2035. But a hybrid electric power system is something that could be thought about. In the past, Airbus looked into this topic as part of the EFAN X hybrid project, but the project was cancelled in 2020. Rolls-Royce, on the other hand, has kept trying to make electric engines by using what it learned from the study. France is very supportive of the changes. France, where the offices of Airbus are located, has also said that it wants to have a replacement for the Airbus A320 by 2030. The French government plans to put a lot of money into developing the plane so that it can make a car that doesn't put out any carbon dioxide. In the country's aircraft industry, big investments of 15 billion euros or 17 billion dollars are expected over the next few years. In the end, France's help has been increased because the pandemic has led more people to need help. 
In addition to helping the country's aviation industry, the government will also give a big piece of the pie to the aeroplane manufacturing industry. The goal for the country to switch to hydrogen fuel is the year 2035. So the ideas that Airbus has put forward for this area could come true with the right support. Could a plane take off with only one pilot? Another interesting idea for replacing the Airbus A320 is a narrow-body plane that only needs one pilot. In August of 2020, Flight Global talked to Airbus Innovation Department, A-cubed, about this subject. Mark Cousin, the business CEO, told Flight Global that he thought this was the future for single-aisle planes and that the company had already started testing with a Beechcraft plane. Cousin also said that the company had started to test the plane. We have no doubt that the next generation of single-aisle planes will be able to be flown by a single pilot, he said. This is mostly a long-term plan for when the technology in question is far enough along that it can be built into the next wave of single-aisle planes. For this type of aeroplane to work, it needs a system that lets it fly and land without a pilot. This will use a separate neural network that learns from picture data to make decisions like a human pilot would. We're still in the beginning stages of the work, but it's already started. This is not something that will be done in its entirety by the year 2035. Cousin gives his opinion, which is that a future A320 narrowbody may have the technology to operate with only one pilot, even though airlines and officials are used to planes with two pilots. Efficiency is key. Over the course of several decades, fuel economy has always been one of the main reasons why modern planes have been made the way they are. Airlines are always looking for new ways to cut costs and lower their carbon footprint. On the other hand, the global health disaster has shown how quickly business models can be turned upside down. Because of this, even a small change in number can make a big difference. Also, the airline industry as a whole is working together to cut emissions by the 2030s, which makes the race to get better fuel economy even more important. Airbus has a history of improving organizational efficiency with every new product it makes. So, it wouldn't be a surprise to learn that the company would release a model with big cost savings for planes that will be running in the next 10 years. What do you think any A320 replacement will look like? Is Airbus ahead of Boeing in this important market? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for tuning in to today's video. If you found this content valuable, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Your support means the world to us. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. We'll catch you in the next video. Until then, stay inspired and keep exploring.